In a letter to Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Navy Donald Tregardis, the Guam Boonie Stompers say they still cannot support signing the PA in its current form. One of their reasons is that a consensus definition of pocket, pocket village, or historical areas has yet to be reached. PNC News recently hiked to the pocket area and came across two laddie sites north of the caves. It is not yet clear whether or not DOD considers these laddie sites as part of the ancient pocket village. The Guam Buni Stompers classify the current language as nothing more than, quote, lip service, done in order to, quote, mislead the public and again achieve whatever you originally wanted in the first place, end quote. They also say the newest version of the PA hasn't changed much, stating, quote, all of these changes mislead the public into believing substantive changes have been made when in fact they have not. They are also concerned about the surface danger zone, which is the zone for which stray bullets may land. They say they have seen no documentation that shows that the pocket trails and village are not within the surface danger zone. They state, quote, if access 24-7 means entering at danger to one's safety, that is not real access at all. The Booney Stompers also say the change from being called a consulting party to a concurring party is unacceptable. Previously, groups like We Are Guahan and the Guam Booney Stompers were referred to as consulting parties. The Booney Stompers say that to agree with us or be shut out of the process is blackmail. They go on to state that the revised PA, quote, still violates the spirit of public input, consensus, trust, and one Guam, because, quote, saying the public is involved by posting notices on an obscure website with short comment periods and no process for feedback is not involvement. They also state that the revised PA lacks details as to whether or not construction will occur on the trails or if there will be a helicopter landing zone in the mountains. They also question whether or not DOD will really be able to get funding for a repository for artifacts given the political and economic climate in Washington. Thus, they call these promises, quote, essentially worthless.